If there's one thing that all retro gamer players can agree on, is that we all want our extensive game collection scraped. Indeed, we all want our 2D or 3D game boxes, and some of us even want video snacks to go along with our console and arcade collections. Fortunately, Batacera has a built-in scraping system, but unfortunately, it's a hit or miss. That is, with some consoles, it does a wonderful job at scraping our games. With other consoles, however, it's a struggle to find our box in video media. What's worse, sometimes it even feels really slow at scraping our game collections. Now then, wouldn't it be nice to use a scraping system that's much faster, more flexible, and more efficient? Well, it turns out there's not one, but two scraping programs or applications that do a much better job at finding most of our scraping media needs for our game collections. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use both scraping applications so that you can create a gorgeous presentation of your games. Let's do it! Greetings everyone and welcome to Batista Nation. So today we're going to be looking at two applications or two programs or two apps, whatever you want to call them, that's going to allow us to scrape all our games from Batista and it's going to be far more efficient and far more faster and with far more features than what's built in into the Batista system, okay? You're going to love these two programs. All right, so these are the ones we're going to look at. We're going to look at this one, Scraper, which is the easier of the two. Uh, and we're also going to look at ARM, okay? It's got a big old fancy title right there. This is a little more complicated, but it has more features uh, and it's more flexible as well. So let's go ahead and work with this one first. But first thing is first. Here's the website, and I will be providing a link in my video description. Uh, and here's the database right here, okay? So I highly encourage you to go ahead and create an account because both apps use this database. And it'll go a lot faster and a lot smoother if you register and create an account. Now you don't have to support them financially speaking, but I think it would really help out because sometimes the server, for example, sometimes it's down. And I get a bunch of comments on my videos saying, hey, I, I can't access Screen Scraper. What's going on? It's the server is down. If we support them financially speaking, uh, that will prevent a lot of that, okay? Uh, and I'm not affiliated with this website or this database at all. I'm just trying to help them out so they can in turn help us out as we try to scrape our games. Furthermore, if you support them with at least one euro, one dollar a month, your scrape requests will go from 20,000 maximum per day to 50,000 maximum requests per day. And that essentially means that every time you ask for a video, a logo, an image, anything, that's a request. So that would give you two more requests per day. And again, it'll help us with also with the server not being down at all. So please consider supporting them, all right? All right, so let's go ahead and download our first app, our first program, okay? Scraper. And so go down to the bottom of the page, and there you have your downloads for Linux, for Apple, and for, of course, for Windows. We're gonna try out Windows. And let's go ahead and download, all right? And then we save it. All right, so I've already downloaded it. And let's go ahead and uh, unzip it. And here's the app. And let's go ahead and run it for the first time. All right, so again, if you already created an account, go ahead and enter your login and your password. And then you'll hit validate, okay? You can also click on this one and go ahead and sign up. The third option is, of course, you don't have an account, you don't want to register, which is not a good idea because things will go a lot slower that way. So again, just go ahead and create an account. So I'm gonna go ahead and validate, make sure things are good. All right, so I got two scrape engines enabled. Again, it's gonna help me out a lot. And again, I only give them about $1 a month, so it's not that bad. All right, go to next. Let it download its resources. And I'll fast forward all this. Okay, so front end selections, go ahead, 
pick recall box and then select next include non recall box ROM folder yes let's go ahead and do that now it turns out I forgot my about to set it already turned on it's connected to my laptop uh, through an Ethernet cable if you don't know what I'm talking about I highly encourage you to watch my video how to quickly copy your games about to set up that explains the process so again it's connected not to my router it's connected to my laptop from a laptop to the about to set a system okay that creates a network connection right there okay it makes it really fast okay and so it's already scanned everything and it's found 95 systems of course not all these systems are actually part of my collection but there are folders for these systems okay so go ahead and select next on this screen go ahead and select next all right so there we are okay so first things first so we see that it's found 95 systems okay not all these actually have games in them but there are folders that's why I see 95 systems okay but some of them are again are empty all right so we have here the global settings okay that will affect all these systems right here okay in terms of the file extensions right so since we have a bunch of CD games on them uh, we're gonna have to change something right here okay they'll affect all the systems okay instead of doing the one individually at a time let me show you what I'm talking about all right so there's my I bought to set a games folder okay I'm going to Amiga CD 32 let's go into this game right here Bob and stick uh, and we see here we have a whole bunch of bins right we don't want all that scraped all we really want scraped is this right here okay the Q file all right and that's the same for other systems as well so therefore let's look for the bin let's go ahead and delete that we don't want it to select that at all okay all right uh, let's go here okay so for here for game list type we have four different options to choose from okay so for this one no backup create new or overwrite existing one I would choose that one if you got nothing created, if you got nothing scraped thus far, or if you have a few of them scraped and you want to start the whole process again, right? Select that one. This one is if you have a whole bunch of them already scraped, you want to go ahead and create a backup just in case something goes wrong or you don't like the results. Okay, so it's a good idea to go ahead and create a backup. Uh, this one will not only create a backup, but it will update the current list altogether. For this one, I would suggest for those of you who have used this software before, everything has worked out really well. You like what you see. So you don't need to create a backup. You always just want to update the current list. All right? So select that one. And finally, this one is for those of you who have already have a few games scraped. And you want to go ahead and create a backup. Uh, and then you want to start from scratch all over again. You might want to select this one. Okay? Now then, for me, it says I'm only going to go ahead and scrape one of them. Daphne. I'm going to go ahead and just choose this one right here okay let's go into metadata this is the one you really have to mess with okay so we have two different types of media for each game okay I like a box art 3d and I also like a video so for the first one you know you have your choice you can select four images right? the logo the cartridge the box and the screenshot okay so you have different options right there it's your choice or just a big screenshot okay all right I like 3d box okay now for here go ahead and select that you can also choose an image if you want to okay those are your choices it's up to you whatever you like okay I happen to like video now for video you have this choice or you also have this one here I believe these are compressed files okay so if you don't have that much space you're doing it in a handheld now we'll choose this one otherwise if you got plenty of space you can just choose this one okay so at this point you're good to go okay if you're ready you want to go ahead and scrape all your systems or your consoles then go ahead and press the play button right here okay and that'll begin the whole process again I don't want to do the whole thing I just want to do one of them just this one right here okay and I'll go ahead and select the play button and I'll start doing it right there
Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward all this. And when it's done, I'll resume the video. All right, so it's completed. It took about a minute and a half or so to complete its task. Now, let me go ahead and show you the results, the end results in Batocera. So let us go ahead and switch to Batocera. Okay, so we're in Batocera. Let's go ahead and press Start on the gamepad, and then go into Game Settings, Update Games List. All right, now let's look for Daphne. And there it is, right there. You can see, it's exactly what I want. All the boxes have been downloaded, the videos have done been downloaded, everything looks good. All right, so it's complete. So I had originally planned to do a tutorial on the ARM application as well, uh, but unfortunately, since this video is already about 11 minutes long, this one's going to take a bit longer because it's a little more complex. Uh, and so I don't want this video tutorial to last over 30 minutes because my experience has taught me that people don't tend to watch tutorials that are over 30 minutes long. So I'm going to save this one for next time. In fact, I'm going to tell you when it's coming out. It's coming out on July the 12th at 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, okay? So be on the lookout for this video. And the one after that will be about Flatpak. Uh, for those of you who don't know, it's going to allow us to install Linux games and apps uh, into our Batocera system. And that's going to open up a whole world of opportunities and applications for us. So that's going to be awesome. So you don't want to miss that one as well. So I suggest, you know what you may want to do uh, is you might want to start scraping everything with this one and then uh, you can finish everything up with this one because this gives us a little more flexibility. You can scrape individual things and, and even point to it uh, images and videos that you may already have for your game collection. Okay? Uh, if this is your first time of watching Batista Nation, I highly encourage you to come to our website at batistanation.com. Uh, all the materials are organized for you, so I'll make it easy for you to find everything you need to get your system up and running in no time. And if you're curious about Batocera, this also will let you know everything you need to know about Batocera, which ultimately is an awesome retro console operating system. You're going to love Batocera if you don't know too much about it. So if you found this video useful, then please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. If this is your first time watching Batocera Nation, please go ahead and consider subscribing. We would love to have you in our community. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Batocera Nation. Bye.